Hey guys, and welcome to The Buy and View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're gonna be talking about Christopher Nkunku, uh, him coming to buy and could that be uh, a possibility, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do in the video. Either way, if you guys do go on to enjoy, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, but at, uh, at the time of recording this, we're literally about to hit 500. By the time this might come out, though, I'm not 100% sure when it's gonna come out. Um, we might have even hit that 500, which is, which is major. Uh, so thank you to uh, everyone from number one to number 500. You guys are generally amazing. Uh, as you can see though, before we get into this video about Nkunku, I'm wearing the brand new Buy Munich kit. Uh, the review is on the channel and at the end of this video, uh, I'll have a video popping up on the screen so you can go and watch that make sure to go watch it if you haven't already um i, I love this kit and you could see um more in detail on there um so yeah and i believe it's the only one on on youtube at the moment so uh, make sure to check it out let's get into this though so uh, in, uh, christopher and kunku has decided to leave leipzig and take the next step this summer rb leipzig uh, do not want to sell in kunku and will not listen to offers under 100 million euros by munich ha uh, are keeping an eye on the situation and would enter the race in case of uh, serge nabry or Lewandowski departure and that's coming from liquid i probably butchered that um but I believe that's a French a French uh, source out there. So, um, yeah. Would I like Christopher Nkunku at Bayern Munich? Yes. Do I think he'd do well at Bayern Munich? Yes. The only thing for me is I believe he plays the number 10 role. I know he could play left and right at times. But I don't believe he could be a direct replacement for uh, Serge Gnabry. And... To, to add to that point, I really don't want to be selling Serge Gnabry, in my personal opinion. Um, you know, I'm not comparing the two, and just in general. So, I think um, major, 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 uh, of course, you know, the fact that this says the Bayern are keeping an eye on the situation, of course we are. We're always, we're, no, we're the biggest team in Germany, we're the best team in Germany, and if we're going to be 100% with it, you know, we're going to look at the best talent. That's why we're looking at Schick, that's why we're looking at this player, Haaland, so on and so forth, you know what I mean? We always look at the best players because we are the best team, and bringing in those best players that aren't even playing in our team, you know what I mean? Of course we're going to be looking at the situation. I think that in itself is stupid to even be saying but either way um yeah christopher Nkunku, i think personally he's probably premier league bound um i think psg would like to get him i'm not too sure they're going to though um just because i have a feeling they might get um paul pogba or someone like that in the midfield even though they're different type of players but um or Manchester United, obviously they've just gone and got um, Ten Hag, uh, which is well, it's very major to see what he's going to do um, for them. Um, so, yeah, 100% we'll see what he's going to do. But, of course, Man United are going to, they've got the spending power. Um, so they definitely, definitely, definitely can spend money like that, like just throw it out there. Um, so... We'll have to wait and see uh, what, what's going to happen on that one. But um, Christopher and, and Kinku, he can play a centre-forward role. He can play the number 10 role. Um, 24 years old, um, born in November, uh, 14th of November to be exact. Um, so he that, he actually will be 25 coming coming at the end of this year. Um, obviously, French international, um, brilliant, brilliant player. Now, this season, he's played all games for Leipzig. And the reason he's played all games for Leipzig is because he's a major key. He is a major player for them. Um, 32 out of 32 games, 18 goals, 13 assists for a 24-year-old is major, brilliant, fantastic. I'd say, that's what I'd say. He is just brilliant. I'd love to have him at Bayern. I really, really would. Um, touches per match of 52. Uh, passing accuracy of 81%. Uh, if we actually go into the Champions League, uh, they played six out of six games in the Champions League. He got one assist, seven goals, which is just major. And then in the Europa League, um, four goals, zero assists, and he played six out of eight matches. But um, yeah, he could do it in the Bundesliga. He could do it in the Champions League. And he can do it, you, you know, in... in the Europa League, of course, the slower than Champions League, but you guys understand what I mean. Um, again, I don't see um, Lewandowski going for that much money, um, but I'm not going to spend, uh, they're not going to add on, like, let's say Lewandowski goes for 30 million, that means they've got to add over over 70 million onto it. That's not going to happen. Um, the only reason I would see this happening or only way I'd see this happening would be if we were to sell Serge Gnabry, but I just don't see it happening. But again, um, what a player, 
you'd bring in, you know what I mean? And I don't think Leipzig will... I think Leipzig would rather take less money from a different club, no matter if that's Spain, Italy, wherever, than Bayern Munich. They're not going to want to give us... The, well, not give us the player, but they're not going to want to um, let us have this player. Um, they'll probably charge us over. So uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, just just seen it in the news that um, he seems to want to leave. And, you know, at the end of the day, he, he obviously has love for Leipzig. He obviously likes to, you know, likes to play at Leipzig and so on. Uh, uh, and why not? Why not come to the pinnacle of German football uh, being in Bayern Munich? So let me know what you guys think, though. If you have enjoyed, please do smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. Again, make sure to check out the video about this kit. It'll be coming up on the screen, if not on the screen already. Click that if you haven't watched it. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, mia samia. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video.